Good morning, everyone. It's Rifcal. It's more Final Fantasy VI T edition. ROM hack of Final Fantasy VI um, was adds a lot of new things, rebalances a lot of things, makes a lot of things harder. And one of the things it adds is a quest for the four crystals when you fight the original four fiends from Final Fantasy One. So we have been told that one of these is in Zozo. So, we're climbing back up Mount Zozo for the third time? Um, but at this point, we've got the Moogle Charm, it's gonna go quick. I have a potentially crazy strategy, and I'm very curious to see how it works out. And I'm very happy to have all of you along with me. <laughs> okay. So we already beat Storm Dragon. So I was looking through what gear uh, blocks win, and there's not much. So. First thing was uh, the Genji shield that we got, blocks wind. It lowers magic evade, but it has pretty good defenses. Um, so I figured that was a good... Uh, so that's one. Um, the Lambent Helm, two. So for this one, Brave Ring, Sniper Eye. Uh, we're going to switch this out uh, for... Well, we'll get to that. Uh, I'm thinking a Peace Ring. <laughs> and then a Brave Ring. Uh, I didn't equip any relics on Sabin. Wow. That could have been really annoying. Um, let's go with something like... I mean... The Classic for a reason. Uh, I think we go with... Hyper Wrist, Atlas Armlet, for this fight. And he is equipped with the God Hand. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is that Terra has the Sniper Eye, and Sabin has uh, the God Hand, which has 100% accuracy, has the same aim ability. So I have purposely skipped over Realm for last. So the item that has the best wind protection is the Behemoth Suit, which lowers your magic by a significant amount, but it raises your power by a significant amount. And I was thinking about the fact that Mog did a stupid amount of damage during the last fight using the bell. Because the rune bell is every element, and I was like, Okay, that feels like it could be good. Then I checked. It is a back rowable weapon that can be two handed. So, with the gauntlet and a sniper eye, I'm going sniper eye um, because wind bosses tend to have high evasion. I figure it's worth trying. So, with that in mind, Realm has higher attack power currently than Sabin, and can do that from the back row. I have no idea how well this is going to work, um, but my plan is to try an Esper that I haven't used yet, which is Fenrir. Speeds up and berserks all allies. I'm gonna give Mog the peace ring and make him be my healer, and the rest of the party is just going berserk. That's my plan. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good plan. 
but I want to make use of the behemoth suit. I think it's neat. Hey, I'm thinking it is over here. Hey, it does look like... Oh, that's the key to the treasure chest. That's right. Uh, we'll get that on the way out, just in case this takes more than one try. Okay. I'm very... Wait, what? Okay. So, here's the crystal room. Let's see how stupid this is. Um... Confuse, mute... Yeah, we're gonna do Kat Katyusha. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so this is Tiamat. Fiend of Air. Or something else in store. Mega Whirlwind. Okay. So this is gonna do a bunch of damage right off the bat, percentage based. But that should be fine. Uh, we're waiting on that for a second. So we've got our regen up. This should haste and berserk everybody but Mog. <laughs> hey. Let's see how this works. <laughs> 3200. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. I feel this feels okay. I, never, I, I should probably actually chuck his... Let's just toss a Libra. See how much damage we're dealing with, but... I'm feeling pretty good with this, honestly. Yeah. We'll see what else he does. Um... See if he can actually get the poison status on him. Then we'll get Golem back up. So the crazy thing to me right now is the fact that it feels like our... It feels like we're almost going too fast because of counterattacks. Okay, we need a Kiraga. And then we need a Golem pretty quick after it. But hopefully this works. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> you know, just a little... Just a little quad zerker action with Realm.
That almost makes me want to try that again. Like, I don't- I genuinely don't think that Realm was- is the best suited for that. I'm actually really curious if there is a costume option that would be better. Oh, we'd have to do the chest. What are these? Machinery for dunces, a pictorial guide to machines, everything about machines, machines for the dis are mechanically disinclined, and Bushido in the bedroom. Science book collection. Okay. Well, that worked way better than it had any right to. Let's go do this. Super Doctor D. There's a doctor who needs help with something, it'll be a hoot. Now, I still have a problem with this. They added the pub guy in, which is, you know, good. I like the fact that they added the pub and Zozo as actually having quests. But, he doesn't lie. Which means that the guy who says only that guy lies is now true. Or is now, uh... The guy who says that only one person lies is now lying. I don't know. It feels weird. We are basically going back up to uh, the top where you originally find Terra, uh, Rama's room, and I believe that Super Doctor D is going to be Dataluma. That feels appropriate. Yep. Wait, if he's lying, then Dataluma is the doctor. This is so confusing. There are so many doctors in Zozo as- or there are as many doctors in Zozo as there are thieves in the slum. Everyone here is a doctor, in fact, except me. Also, no one ever gets hurt or sick here, so the doctor business is as good as dead. Since there are no clients at all, I have zero motivation to test my new medical treatment. You're so busy with patients that you need someone to help test your new treatments. You won't get anything in return if you agree to be my test subject. Take my advice and get lost. Let's try something non-poisonous. Go get a status ailment. Any status ailment will do except for poison. Okay. So we have to go get poisoned. Easy enough. We should be able to inflict most of these on ourselves at this point. Hate the blur walk. Basuna. That didn't work at all. Okay, ten cure alls. Go get a soft, squishy body, then come see me again.
Now, can I cast any of these from... No, I can't. Okay. So we need to get Break on one of our characters. Luckily, these enemies are really low level, so it's fine. Let's get started. I have a new spell this time, too. That didn't work at all. Hathusha? Okay. That's good. You'll get really good eyesight and come see me again. Okay. Blind. is blind, actually. Do we have a spell for that? I don't think we do. Crap. That one's gonna be annoying. Like, there's lots of enemies that cause it, but I don't know what ones they are offhand. A second here. It's changing my tabs on my spreadsheet, and I am not seeing a weapon that I've got that causes blind. I don't think I've got. <sighs> I'm mostly just annoyed right now that I have to walk back up back through again but I think I mean there's lots of enemies so that really shouldn't be that hard to get but I'm pretty sure I want to say one of Gao's effects makes him blind when he uses it. So a lot of Gao's effects automatically cause several different effects. Uh, the most common one that I've used is the one that causes float. Um, so my thought, actually before I walk all the way up there, let's test it. That would be the smart thing to do. we don't have to cure it right away. We can just leave it. Uh, was angry of course. I believe? Yep. 
<laughs> I used that one randomly because it uh, does... What, Aqua Break? So I used that forever ago, and that's, uh... I, I, Gao kept missing his physical attacks at the time. And I couldn't figure out why, and I because it doesn't show the blind animation. I got out of the battle and was like, why is Gao blind? When did that happen? And realized... So I, un, like, healed it, and then the next fight it did the same thing. And I realized that it was causing blind, the same way that the other ones were causing, you know, something like... Float. I hope there's not too many more, and I hope they're ones that we can inflict on ourselves, because there's a few, or I can't think of a ton of other ones that we've got left that are easy to get, besides, like, Toad and Mute. Barrette? Last one. Get nice and lively. The more liveliness, the better. Don't have green skin. Zombie. Okay. Barrette that blocks status ailments, toad blind, poison sleep. Okay, so it's basically like the other side of the... Uh, so Katyusha plus Barrette are Ribbon. Okay. I can dig it. Um... Unfortunately, I... Don't think we've got anything that causes zombie. So... We're going to... Quick trip over here. That's not where I wanted to go. So I'm pretty sure a lot of the enemies in this place uh, do the zombie status. So it feels like a good place to try this. Like, specifically a good place where we can just, like, walk in and be right there. I definitely wasn't walking back and forth while using the Moogle Charm still. You can't prove it. I don't remember which ones do what, so... We'll wait a minute and see what this guy does. Like, ideally, I would want to get the flowers. And there is definitely a part of me that wishes that uh, control was still an ability. So I could just tell if this guy had Zombone or not. Just skeletal horrors out here? Oh, there we go. Did end up having it. 
Cool. Now we get to answer the age-old question. Who's letting the zombie pilot the airship? Okay. So, uh, I should finish this quest off. Um, I believe the reward is going to be another ribbon, which I am definitely okay with. I think we've got two right now, and getting a third would be amazing. Um, the next goal that I've got for myself here is going to be... I believe we're going to move on to Shadow's Dreams. Um, so, part of the reason that I've been putting this off is because I have been sick, as you probably know if you've been watching the videos recently. Um, and I can usually go for quite a while, like, I my cough hasn't been too bad most of the time. But, and it's gotten a lot better, like, I'm actually feeling good today, that's part of the reason that I'm doing another burst of videos, which you don't know because I'm spreading them out, but... Um, this is like the first video after a several day hiatus. Um... So... Cuts... Er, the Shadow's Dreams are a bunch of cutscenes. That's it. It's gonna be a bunch of reading, and... Uh, I didn't want to try and just read everything while I was not feeling great when it would aggravate my cough. Or after the last video when I was going to be bored. Um, after that long Diablos fight. So yeah, that's kind of my my thought process here. I think we're going to do... Uh, the ne We're going to unlock the next round of weapons for the Ancient Castle, because we did get the Wind Crystal. Um, and then I'm going to put together my party. We're going to go do a grand tour of pretty much every town in, in the world to try and get enough beds. I don't, I think you have to, you can only get one of Shadow Dreams in each bed once. So you have to take them to unique places and I don't know how many there are. I don't know how many it's going to end up being. I don't know what the changes to it are. I am very excited to do this storyline, uh, and then I'm going to follow up and do another one after that. So, hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.